all know that the center console boom is huge right now. One of the things we wanted to do at Key West was find three outboard powered center consoles and determine which one was the best. Now I knew that task was going to be difficult, so I chose to bend and stretch the rules a little. I picked a badass 560 Sport Nortec that didn't have outboards. It is a phantom Rolls Royce on the water. It's something you expect to see in Monaco, Saint Tropez, Trieste. It is immaculate. It is luxurious. It is outstanding in almost every way. Hey, Powerboat Nation, once again, we're really lucky and honored to be on this new, beautiful 560 Sport from Nortec. Baddest ass boat we've been on so far. One of the few boats we've been on so far. But we're going to take it out for a spin. It's super excited. I'm still trying to figure out where are the motors. They're engines. They're not motors, they're engines. There's four of them. I don't see them. That's because they're, they're right there. Standing on them. This boat isn't powered by just some simple outboards. It's powered by real diesel power. Draft horses, if you will. Four Cummins 550 turbo diesels linked to Arneson ASD8 surface drives. Fred, who's driving the boat? I'm driving the boat. You can't drive the boat backwards. Get out the way. You can't just barge in on me like that. What Nortec really brings to you with this boat is yacht and yacht quality. While it may be considered a yacht tender, oh. it is in itself yacht quality. Super boring. I wanted to drive this thing the whole time, but kept getting pushed out by JW because he wanted to push all the buttons. Which, which buttons make it go? <clears throat> it You're doesn't right. need a driver. That's the best part. It's driving itself. The boat does drive itself, doesn't it? Is this the kind of thing you use for your yacht to get back and forth to it? Tender. Yeah. It's a tender. Okay. The yacht to shore. Right. The shore to the yacht. Yeah. It's a yacht tender. Okay. Right. The tender, that's like an online dating thing, right? It's a tender. Oh. Tango Echo November. Okay. Let's just ride the boat. This is my boat. I'm the one that's supposed to be driving it. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, these Cummins diesels provide power through the water like a knife through butter. I'm gonna tell you that I really like this boat. So what's the weight on this behemoth? It's about 35,000 pounds. So it needs all of it. Yeah, but it doesn't move like it's 35,000 no. pounds. I mean, when you drove the boat in, I mean, the boat, it moves. Yeah, I mean, it performs like something that's a little smaller than that, but it feels solid. And again, it's, it's that yacht quality because we could take this boat literally around the world. You could. We, ha could. we have to work. Right. Look how much smoother it is when I drive, Brad. That's because we're going like two knocks. Listen, luxury everywhere on this thing. The cabin has the tinted glass. It's got Sea Keeper on board. Finely appointed upholstery, full head, generators, refrigerators, the forward cabin. This boat has all the features that your million dollar home would have. This is a unique boat with unique features that you can't find anywhere else.
Listen, I know I went out of bounds in this challenge by selecting a boat that didn't have outboards, but in reality, I had to bring you the very best that's out there.